Welcome back to our channel, the channel for the latest news and stories about the Princess of Wales, Princess Catherine, and her royal family. Today, we bring you breaking news. Princess Charlotte, so beautiful in a bridesmaid's dress, while the truth of Meghan's lies revealed by designers. The dressmaker, now at the forefront of such bridesmaids' outfit controversy during Prince Harry and Meghan's ceremony, isn't shocked that this really resulted in crying. After already being chased down by the newspapers, luxury designer and tailor Mir Puri must have ended his five-year silence regarding the now famous scandal, which is believed to have brought the Duchess of Sussex and Cambridge to crying. He disclosed that he was aware hardly of any of the events that would occur, and even though he was along with three colleagues, were forced to work 24 hours a day for five days at the palace, as well as Windsor Castle for something like the 2018 marriage ceremony, within a week of being discovered that each of the six bridesmaids' dresses produced by French clothing company Givenchy were customised. Mirpuri designer owns a business in London's West End, claimed he disappointed that the child bridesmaids, notably Princess Charlotte, had indeed been overwhelmed with rumours of Meghan and Catherine's quarrel. The melodrama about whatever transpired in the shadows involved Meghan Markle, and indeed the Princess of Wales, returning to the press. But once you assumed you haven't ever learned well about Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid outfit tale, and then who caused who to weep even more? That is indeed a result of the themes covered inside Prince Harry's newest autobiography, Spare. Meghan has refuted rumours that allegedly caused Catherine to weep. During the wedding ceremony of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in 2018, rumours circulated that Meghan caused Catherine to weep about everything related to Charlotte's clothing. However, throughout a question and answer session alongside Oprah Winfrey in 2021, the erstwhile suit star claimed that it was the other way around, as well as Catherine caused her to weep. Catherine seemed unhappy over something that occurred a few days prior to the wedding. It caused me to weep, and it wounded my emotions, Meghan explained to Oprah. Camilla Tomini, British Raw Specialist and Newspaper Associate Director, broke the notorious outfit article. Tomini stuck with her previous account as Meghan presented her interpretation over what transpired. She asserted that now the data she provided came from two palace insiders, and that Catherine, never Meghan, was indeed the one sobbing. Months back, in his autobiography Revenge, Meghan and Harry, as well as the war scene between the Windsors, British historian Tom Bower writes well about the episode. He said Meghan declined to modify the neckline of the three-year-old princess, as well as not permit Charlotte to don leggings, causing Catherine to cry. Throughout Spare, Prince Harry presented his version of what transpired. On this autobiography, Harry acknowledged to a schism, as well as described exactly transpired. He has said, actually five days prior to the marriage, Catherine texted Meghan, saying Princess Charlotte had been weeping, as her outfit seemed too huge, too long and too loose. Per Harry, a heated dispute ensued, during which Meghan informed Catherine that she was keeping seamstress called AJ Mirapuri on standby at Kensington Palace to make amendments, and that Catherine should send Charlotte there to receive the outfit change. Catherine supposedly immediately informed Meghan that, together all clothes ought to be recreated. Meghan retorted that Charlotte might see AJ about all this towards which Catherine has been believed to already have answered, OK. I was frightened to be seeing Meghan, obviously distressed, but I didn't believe it was a real disaster. Harry spoke after the encounter. Of course, feelings have been rising continuously. I assured Catherine that she had not intended any damage. 
The prince went on to say that the following day his sister-in-law repented and brought him bouquets as well as a note. I know how people would be disappointed if indeed the gowns did not satisfy. It's a really nerve-wracking situation. I feel a bit sorry for every one of them since you would not want your kids to walk out onto a grand stage inside a uncomfortable costume, which is exactly what happened to them. Every six girls' gowns need to be repaired, which we accomplished. I'm a Protestant, therefore I intended to be using my tiny company to aid the monarchy. I have no clue whatever dimensions Givenchy would have obtained, Mirapuri added, although with my expertise and knowledge, designers could have seen immediately that almost all six girls' gowns needed to be altered since they were struggling to match. We encountered the same issue that everyone encounters during a marriage, steadily for the past snags. I see how a person might be disappointed if the gowns don't suit. It's very stressful. I feel so bad for every one of them, given that you would never want your children to step out like that. Yet they did. I didn't reveal that it bothered me in such a major occasion. The row would be one of those that's not discussed. Not the reality, because the bridesmaids dress wonderfully. The outfits, such as the bridesmaids dress, are designed by Claire White Keller, Chief Creative Officer at Givenchy. However, they appear to be manufactured solely on the foundation of dimensions and often without additional matching. Some bridesmaids dresses included Harry's goddaughter Florence Vetkutsum. Rylan, as well as Remy Litt, the daughters of Meghan's buddies, Ivy Mulroney, daughter of Canadian stylist Jessica Mulroney, the unofficial bridesmaid, and Zaley Warren, another of Harry's goddaughters, and the youngest of the troupe, who was only two years old at the time. I'm not sure what measurements Givenchy received, except with our expertise and understanding, the six bridesmaid gowns were restored, since they did need to be satisfactory, Mr. Murpuri explained. Designers would just have to work incredibly hard for five days. Five of the others labored till 4 a.m., three nights a week, to make them more comfortable, say another one of the trainers. The night prior, designers left Windsor Castle around 10 p.m. Didn't anybody comment about the bridesmaid's outfit, as well as how they appeared on that day? Nope, seems to be the response. Thanks for viewing the video, we'd appreciate hearing what you think, and for the time being, farewell.